Hi, this is Roger and thanks for joining me on my channel. This set of short video clips will show all of my orchids as the um, growing season gets underway. And then at the end of the season, I'll film them all again and do a direct comparison so can, you can see how they've progressed. These are the befores of the before and after idea. Hope you enjoy them. And this giant is uh, Maxillaria arachnitiflora. And this one, I'm going to film it um, in case the problem isn't a virus. But at the moment, I've got a feeling it may have the ring spot virus, in which case it won't be here much longer at all. Um, <laughs> that sad looking object that came off in me and your honour. Um, that's its last bloom probably for this year. It's had a lot of blooms and it's got a mass of new growth. But a lot of the leaves on the new growths are showing that. So this may well not be here, but I'll include it. This is my Maxillaria tenuifolia in a pot. And um, this is the piece that was broken off of the giant plant that I sent to Danny. It has decided to actually push some blooms out. Only a couple. Um, they are pretty blooms. They are supposed to be coconut scented, but um, there's another bloom here just opening. One round the back too. But for me, I've never had a strong fragrance. Also, the version that I've got never really opens fully. They always stay slightly closed. So obviously I would suspect that this was produced from seed and with seedlings you do get variety and this is just possibly not the best one out of the batch. But um, yeah, I mean it grows well, it's got loads of new roots showing from various places um, and it's actually quite a large plant as they go, they can get flipping enormous but um, it's coming on, you know, it didn't have good roots when I put it in there and it's coming on. And this is my other Maxillaria tenuifolia. This one's mounted and um, is growing vigorously to say the least. You know, I mean, I can see well over a dozen new growths pushing on. It's currently in bloom. It's got three open blooms. Another bud here. Uh, that might be it. Um, pretty blooms, but they don't open fully on my version. They always stay partially closed like that. That's just how they are. Um, and it's a shame because the, the little spots and things on the uh, top sepal and the other two petals is actually quite attractive, as is the lip if it would just open up. But this one doesn't. It stays like that. Whether that's a light thing or just the particular version I've got, I don't know. But um, vigorous plant, mounted, doing well. Um, it'll be difficult to see how much bigger that is at the end of the season, but we'll do what we can. And this is Maxillaria picta. Yes, picta. Um, a young plant, I don't think this is blooming size yet, but um, at the moment it has two new growths um, pushing on. They're not just started, they are pushing on. Just starting to swell at the base on that one. So starting to form its pseudo bulb. Um, whether that pushes out any more new growths during this season, I don't know. That could be it, just those two. Started them a while ago, um, but it is a young plant. Now this is an unusual growing Maxillaria. It's Sophronites. Um, it's a creeper, climber, whatever you want to call it. Tries to escape. And at the moment, it's trying to escape off the top of the mount. And on the round to it list is to separate those growths at the top. They all have their own individual little roots, aerial at the moment, and set some of them up at the base of the plant so that they grow up through it again. I may take the whole thing off and start again. I don't know yet. But it has pretty little red flowers, one of which is just about to open, tucked in there. Um... I've seen it as a mass bloomer and it's stunning. Mine tends to have the odd couple of flowers every now and again, which is not quite the same thing. Maybe one day. I mean, that is a mass of new growth at the top and potentially they could all flower around the same time, which is why, although it's on the round to it list, I'm reluctant to take those growths off now because I think they may all bloom very close together and put on quite a good show. So I'm just leaving it for now. 
and it'll just carry on growing. It's not a fast grower, but it's certainly not a slow one. That's a lot of new growth up the top there. So let's have a lot of blooms all at the same time instead of just one. But it is a beautiful little flower. Deepest red, bright, fiery red really, rather than deep red. Very nice, and a yellow bit on it. So we'll see how that one progresses. A few pedalums next. I have six. Whether six will still be here at the end of the season is debatable. Either because they don't make it or because I don't like them that much. <laughs> anyway, we shall see. Uh, first one's a hybrid, Evelyn Rock. Um, Paphio Pedalum, Evelyn Rock. I see no signs of new root growth in there. The root system was so poor when I repotted this, I've had to strap it so it's actually physically staked to hold it in place. So if any new root growth comes out, at least it's nice and stable. But whether that one makes it or not, I don't know. Root system virtually non existent. Paphio Pedalum Macabre. Um, although this is only a single growth, it was more, but the rest of the plant died off. The single growth is looking quite strong. You know, leaves look quite good. Again, recently repotted, and this one did have the odd root or two. <laughs> There's actually an active growing tip there. So this one's probably going to make it okay. Um, whether it will push up any more new growths to go with this one, or whether it will proceed in the normal pattern for me, which means a new growth, old part of the plant dies, new growth doesn't grow, any new growth to go with it, it blooms, and then starts a new growth and the old part dies, and I end up with one again. But we'll see, maybe this one will do better. This next one is Paphiopedalum Magical Venus. Lovely dark coloured leaves in places on this one. I like the patterning. Um, these rusty marks on here came in the winter on some leaves on some of the plants. They haven't got any worse. Some leaves I just cut off, um, some I left, but you know I keep my eye on it. If I see any signs of it spreading the leaves will come off because I think it's bacterial. Um, but anyway there are some roots on this plant and it has got a new growth growing now and the old part hasn't died yet, but it probably will. There's actually a new root tip showing in there as well. So there is some active root growth and a new top growth. Uh, a bit high up on the plant, as they do, um, so I've mounted, uh, mounted up the um, media around the base of that new growth. If any new roots come out, hopefully they'll go down into the media. Uh, this is Paphiopedalum mordii, and... Um, this has always been my best one, um, although I've got signs of that orange on some of the leaves again. I've treated it, um, but this one's got a good root system. So it's a, you know, as far as Paphiopedalums go, it's a strong plant with a root system like that. And this has currently got one new growth coming up through the centre of the plant and another new growth down there behind the tag that you can see. So this, this is how this one seems to work for me. Two new growths, they bloom one after the other, and then two new growths. What I need is more than two. But um, with a root system like that, hopefully it's vigorous enough to perhaps push up more than two growths each time. We'll see how it goes. And this plant I've had a while, but it's done nothing during that time. Um, this is a uh, Ratcliffe's original cross, I believe, Marcella Noble. Uh, you can see the um, two ingredients, as I'll call them. I'm not going to try and say that first one. Anyway, this is a slow, if non-existent, grower. It has got a root or two down in the pot. Pot's as big as that because it was a bigger plant once, and it did have two pieces with a new growth, but the other piece with its new growth died. It has got a new leaf coming, so we'll see if that will push on this year. Very mild mottling on this one, much more gentle than some of them. And um, the last one is a, an unnamed hybrid as far as I know. It's Warden, which is a hybrid, crossed with Raisin Wine, which is also a hybrid. Um, but I don't, I've never found a name for it, and quite, be, quite honestly I can't be bothered to look for one. Um, but there's some signs of activity in the pot, 
not a lot but there are some signs of activity in there and it's currently pushing on a new growth I don't see any active new roots coming out of that new growth but um, we'll see how that one does it's, it's a tatty looking plant don't know why I keep these things sometimes right this set of the uh, Miltonias um, with a bit of poetic license because there's a Miltonidium in there but then the Oncidium class is so big and I've got so many um, this one's going to sneak in with the Miltonias because it's part Miltonia anyway okay um, I've got infected plants in this set and one that I've only had literally a week today so uh, this is an unusual group it's, it has variety in it this is the other one that came from the same supplier in Portugal and this one's not doing so well this is Miltonia castana um, it basically has got a new growth that doesn't seem to be moving at all and it doesn't seem to be producing any new roots that I can see although there could be a few tucked away in the moss but that one's just sitting there not doing much so I'm not sure I've successfully rescued that if any of them are not going to be there at the end of the season it's going to be this one it's only just hanging on we'll see how it goes all right, so this little one on the mount is an infected plant um, so obviously precautions are being taken with this um, this is Miltonia Queen Anne it came from a supplier in Portugal along with two others one of which didn't make it um, for reasons stated and two of them are hanging on with the separation treatment and the um, spraying program which is restarting for again reasons I've stated but the new growth on this one is pushing out quite a few new roots um, with green tips that are not failing so hopefully this one is well on the way to recovery it's a good strong new growth and as I said with a good root system underneath it that is clean it should allow the new growth to, to be and stay clean but we'll see how it progresses at the moment it's going uphill not downhill and this is a good sign and this tiny little thing is a genuine Miltonia miniature uh, Miltonia Venus has a massive bloom for the size of the plant and this one got badly attacked by a slug you can see I cut a couple of back bulbs off that were badly damaged and leafless and that one had a great bite chunk in it taken out of it basically by a slug um, I treated it and um, coated it with cinnamon to dry it all out and everything and it didn't die and the leaves stayed on and it has produced a new growth um, which looks weak um, but it has got new root growth at the base um, that's relatively new the root growth so hopefully that one's going to push on a little bit but so far it's been an incredibly slow rate of progress on this little thing um, it didn't have a reasonable, well, didn't really have a root system when I unpotted it. Decided to mount it and get some air around it. It sat there and did nothing for a long time. And then it pushed up the new growth that appeared very weak with no new roots. But now it's starting to push some new roots out. So um, maybe this growing season that will start to pick up. We'll have to wait and see. I don't expect that new growth to bloom. I'd be very highly surprised if it did. This little one is a very recent acquisition, had it a week, repotted it immediately because I didn't like what it was in, it was in rock wool, so I let it dry off and allow the base of the plant to dry out which was dripping wet, um, give it a hell of a spray with hydrogen peroxide in case there was any residual moulds or bacterial infections or anything because of just how wet it was and um, yeah um, it's been repotted, it's in some reasonable media and it has quite a few new growths. It's got one here, um, one here pushing on to maturity and another one in the centre. So, you know, it's capable of putting on some good growth this year. It is a relatively young plant. To me it looked a little like a mature plant when I got it, but others have said that they've got this one and theirs is an awful lot bigger so it's, it's got some growing to do but hopefully those new growths will get their roots going and um, produce a reasonable plant by the end of the year that's Miltonia flavescens and this is the Milton idiom this is Peter Comp another very popular um, hybrid 
basically just because of the size and colours on the blooms. Um, the older bulbs, the oldest bulbs on this I took off when I repotted it recently and um, the ones that are on there that look a bit desiccated that's how they were so they're not going downhill that's just how they were I don't think it was very well looked after but I've got two nice new growths coming on it one here massive new root system coming out of the base of that and then a, woo, and then another one round here again this one's pushing on really nicely um, with a massive new root system under that one as well. So certainly by the end of this season this should have an established really good root system in nice new media and to lovely maturing or even mature and bloomed growths we shall see. Um, there is no reason whatsoever why those two growths shouldn't bloom. No reason at all. But we'll see. All right, this large beastie is Miltonia Sunset, very popular hybrid, many people have got this. This is a nice strong plant, um, <clears throat> massive new root growth, recently repotted so all of that new root growth can get down in the pot. Um, the latest new growth that's maturing, uh, where is it, <laughs> I can track the spike down, there we go. There's the spike. Um, looks like it's going to have three blooms. I'd like to see four. The last spike had three. If I get four this time, that's progress. Um, but, uh, oh, and either it's, yeah, and the, the latest growth that's just bloomed has now got a new growth coming. This is a vigorous plant, yeah. Some of the older bulbs are a bit desiccated. Um, but the new growths are pushing on really strong and there are many of them. So uh, we'll, we'll see how many times that actually produces blooms this season and um, I can keep track of that and we can say at the end of the season, look at the plant, see how the new growths have developed and how many of them have flowered. Um, it's a good strong plant that one. Very popular with people, lovely colours. Right, collective view. Um, there's one out of place in there but there's a reason why it's in that set. It's because it begins with R. <laughs> These are my Ristrepias. Okay. And this large one is Ristrepia antennifera. And uh, it's actually got a clone name, which I'll stick in the pop-up. Um, this is my probably my largest and best-looking Ristrepia, and the one that blooms the most. It's just finishing a flush round here, where it had about five blooms all at once. Does actually have a bloom here at the moment. I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another one lurking around here. This just blooms on and off all through the season. It's a it, it's a good one. Um, there's new growths coming on it. They're all coming out nice and clean, not cream cord. And the pot is a mass of roots. That, that's probably my best Ristrepia. This is one of the ones I got from the Eric Young Foundation. Or well, that's where it came from. I didn't go and get it, but that's where it came from. And that's Ristrepia, and I think it's pronounced Haulisse. Um, but the name will be there anyway. Um, this was repotted not long after I got it. And um, it is showing signs of new root growth in the pot now. So it's taking a hold. And as such, its latest growths are coming out clean now. Some of its previous growths were a little bit crinkly. That's what happens with Ristrepias when the roots aren't happy. Or it's too hot and too dry, that'll do it too. This one blooms on and off, but virtually continuously. It's got two blooms on it now, and um, one just finished there, and another one just coming. So, yep, yeah, just keeps going. I'm sure as this is... It's not a young plant, but it's still got its original leaves from when it was either divided or grown on from seed or however this was done. This is one of their own crosses. So some of those leaves down the middle with the yellow bits and things, they'll probably be gone as this season progresses. But it's replacing them at a rate of knots. Good plant. This is the um, other one that I got that originated from the Eric Young Foundation. And this is a mouthful, and I'm going to make a right pig's ear of this. I think it's it's Havre des Pass, and it's crossed with Gutulata, which was my little one I got from Oliver. Well, not not that one exactly, but you know <laughs> you know what I mean. So uh, again, it was an Eric Young cross, and um, this one doesn't flower as much as the other Eric Young one, but it is a slightly smaller plant. Massive new ro roots all over the place on this one, so this one's really getting a hold now. Um, its new growths come out clean.
um, so it's happy with its root system. Doesn't bloom as often, but it has got one that's wobbling about because I can't hold it still. So it's, it's got one about to open. So although it blooms on and off like all the other Restrepias, at the moment it's less frequent than most of the others. But it is still relatively a small plant. Now this is my tiniest Restrepia. This was a present from Oliver um, back at the New Forest Show, which I believe was July last year. And um, it was one of the little divisions he did in one of his earliest, if not his first video. And he brought it along as a present. Greatly appreciated. It's just starting to grow. It's effectively been stalled through the winter. Um, but now with the longer days and things, um, nice new leaf, um, quite a bit bigger than the ones I was given, and another new one coming out of the base. So we'll see how that progresses in its first real growing season for me. Trying to kill two birds with one stone here and actually water plants as well as fill in the film in them for a video. So I'm making a bit of a mess. Anyway, this is um, Restrepia falkenbergii. There's a mouthful. Um, recently repotted, loads of kiki stuck in the pot at the same time. So we've got new growths all over the place in various stages. Some are failing. That could be kikis actually dying because they didn't have enough roots. Um, some are a little bit crinkled. That shows signs of root stress. Well, you know, roots were damaged in the repotting process. And some new growths are pushing up clean. So it, it's starting to get a hold after it's repot. But there's no signs of real heavy activity in the root department. But um, we'll see how that one comes on during the season. No blooms at the moment. This one's having a rest from blooming. Most of them bloom on and off, but not this one. All right, this strange looking thing was sold to me as Restrepiodes Dragonstone. Well, the Dragonstone bit is right, but I believe it's actually a Plorothallis. Um, but whatever it is, I, I was sold it as Restrepiodes Dragonstone, and it begins with R, it gets treated exactly the same as my Restrepias, so it lives with the Restrepias, so that's what it's going to be called. Um, it's got some good signs and new roots lately. You know, that, that's a relatively recent activity. Uh, that's good. Um, it has grown new growths, uh, leaves, I suppose you'd call them. They're, they're just single leaves on a long stalk. That, that's how it grows. But this latest large leaf on the top has something lurking at the base of it. I mean, the camera's not picking it up too well. And that's where the spike comes from. So that may be a spike although it has done that on other leaves before, to no avail. But we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to uh, click the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. And if you want to see more videos like this and my other videos, including culture, care, repotting, mounting, and mainly orchid-related uh, topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on anything. And thanks for dropping by. See you next time.